What'd you bring us? Just, just a little eel about that big. A little eel about that big? About that big. I need to get a That's picture. Funny. I need to have to create like a big, like, big post. Hello, baby. I'll post my Discord. Beautiful. I hope guy doesn't. You ready? No. I guess I'm going in. Yeah. Why is it always me that puts Ryan in danger? <laughs> danger. I one of my fish has made him bleed. Oh, well, you're tame. That was, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Well, look at that. What's his name, her, her name? Did you Hades? name him? The original name him Hades. Hades? Oh. oh. We don't like that. Stop, stupid. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Oh, man. Almost yeah. three and a half feet. If he stretch all the way up. I told you he's he's at least three and a half feet. Yeah, that's what was, yeah, he was like he was I know, I, probably two. I know. Alrighty. Sorry I made that light. No, he's beautiful, Q. You gonna say bye to him? Alright, Hades. Silver. You have fun at eating everybody in my tank. <laughs> now you be fed real good here. Alright, Legos. Fishy business. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's not feeling it, Kevin. Okay, so confession time. Kevin, I did it again. I ate the last bag of chips out of the chip box that Richard replaced. I told him not to do it. He did tell me not to do it, but I was halfway through the bag of chips when he told me not to do it. I didn't contemplate long enough before I did it that I shouldn't do it, but I did it. So I'm sorry, I'm confessing now. When you run around the store and ask who did it and nobody says anything, including me, I uh, hope you're watching the grind or not. Ready? Hi, I'm gonna learn y'all something today. We have what's called an overflow room. It's when Chase gets excited and he starts ordering more than he should at once. In a way, it's great because we won't really run out as easily, but it ends up looking like this before it's over. Now, I have a serious problem. I don't know how to tackle it appropriately. Part of me wants to go out on the shelves and write down everything that's missing and come in here and look for it. Part of me wants to just grab everything off the shelves, try to put it out there on the sales floor, and then put back what I didn't use. Either way, I'm wasting an incredible amount of time, and I'll be honest with you, I cannot figure this out for the life of me. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I need help. What you doing? <laughs> I am um, dipping this guy just in case there's any external parasites. You can tell he's kind of mad about it. Who are you dipping him in? Actually, we're just using our uh, cichlid tank water because it's the closest to the parameters of the saltwater system. So without shocking him, it's already warmed up and everything. It's just gonna take out any invertebrates or hitchhikers just in case. Well, that's neat. I know. Oh, look, he's happier now. Much happier. Hey, buddy. Now he wants to get those fish. Hey, guys. So something really cool came in uh, over the weekend, and I was pretty excited about it. So we get in blood parrots all the time. Um, small ones, medium ones, and large ones. Uh, but we had one come in that I'm pretty sure is the biggest one I've ever seen. Kevin said it was the biggest one he's ever seen. 
Richard says the biggest one he's ever seen, and they've seen lots. Guys, look how big, look how big he is. He's like twice as big as my, oh God, he's mean too. He's twice as big as my hand. But seriously, uh, coolest dude I've ever seen. He's super interactive, or she, I think it's a boy. Got the pointed dorsal. Uh, but look how big he is. Like, coolest fish I've seen in a while. Morning, Pookie. Hey, Pookie. What's up? <laughs> What's going on? You know that's my nickname, right? I do, I do. Yeah. There was a gentleman at the, uh, the gas station this morning that told me to tell you hi. <laughs> That would be Russ. Uh, we uh, used to chauffeur two old men around. Uh, one of them lost his license for reasons we won't discuss. The other one was a, um, a, a diabetic patient and was unable to drive anymore. And so Pookie and I would drive them around all the time. Um, we had other friends that would hang out named Biscuit and things like that. We won't go into that. Um, one time I'm in the uh, Kroger, which tells you how long it was. It wasn't quite Albertsons, but you know. And um, the lady at the checkout says, would you like a bag? And one of the old men, Bubba, says, you know, I never did marry. <laughs> so yeah, Pookie and I go way back. Oh yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah, my mouth is clean, man, which is one of the prerequisites of being a He just licked him, they're clean. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then he was worried that if he had a child, that that child...